Vegas? You get it yet? Yeah, all right. Didn't mean to wake you up. Thank you. All right, there you go. We could have all started at home. We could have done the whole show on MSN just for you, okay? There you go. LOL, LOL, oh, LOL. Smiley, smiley. My sons, they're both, they're both emos. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah? Okay, for those of you who don't know, emos, emos are goths that don't get enough pocket money, basically. Uh, so, you know, they can't afford the full regalia and the big boots, so it's just, uh, you know, the black hair, sort of a hair down, down the here. I haven't seen his left eye for three years. It's under, it's under this. Um, and they're nice kids. They don't cut themselves or any bullshit like that. Um, they, they don't even cut the fucking lawn, actually. It's just they doing nothing, really. Um, uh, but this, this is the bizarre thing, because I'm, I'm Spanish, so my, so my family's just getting weirder and weirder, because uh, there's my, you know, my Spanish, we've got people with different backgrounds, yeah? Yeah, because everybody's like half of this, half of that, you know, these days, um, um, you know, my, my kids are half Spanish, half Australian, we had, a, we had a guy in the audience yesterday who was half, half Italian, half Indonesian, uh, what was his name? Badang, badang, badabing, you know, so, it's just a bit of everything going on. Um, So, you know, this, this is my family now, there we are, you know, there, there's, uh, there is my mum and dad. If you can imagine, like, the whole family there, sort of sitting there at Christmas, there is uh, uh, the two boys, you know, um, the 14 and 12, 15 and 13 now. Um, you know, they're not saying much because they're 14 and 12 and can't express the darkness in their souls. Um, <laughs> My mum and dad, they're not saying much because, you know, they've been here for 45 years and still can't speak the fucking language. You know? <laughs> this is the zoo. That is my family now. Um, and, uh, you know, the emo, by the way, did I mean, emo, emo is actually short for emotional. Did you know that? Emotional. Yeah, because apparently this is the first generation of teenagers in history to be emotional. Um, <laughs> Kids, they drive me insane. They drive, and I, I look like I never hit them or anything like that. We got, we got, we got a few like fathers who've got teenage sons here. Yeah, give me yeah, yeah, one or two. Okay, this is going to get a bit hairy here, but I'm going to go with it here. Okay, you know, so sort of family, and I think it's, we should talk about family stuff. If you, if you're the son of teenage boys, right, I will guarantee you, because I don't believe in physical punishment, right? Um, I think physical punishment should be reserved for that one time, right, when. Your friends with no kids give you advice on how to bring up your children. I think that's where a good fucking slap is in order, really. Um, now, if you're the father of teenage boys, I will guarantee you at some point, this is going to make a few people feel uncomfortable, I've, I've, I will guarantee that at some point, at some point, you have stood there, right, Sizing up, lining up your son for a good punch in the face. Okay, right now you probably didn't go with it. Thank God. Okay, thank God. But for just for a fraction of a second, the finger was on the trigger. Okay, let's just let's just face it. Okay, and because you've got this guy who's six foot two standing up. I'll give you an example. My son, right? We're having an argument, and he goes, "Well, what do you expect? You don't need to go out until eleven o'clock. You don't get, don't give you money to go out. So what are you? You're just a spoon donor. <laughs> See, now you want to kill him too, right? Yeah." That's how quickly you get a lynch mob going. Get the emo out of here! Hang him high! Hang him high! Right? Okay? Right? But luckily, in this, in this, you know, you've got a guy who's six foot to stand there. That, that primeval part of your male brain is going, your, your ego's going, you're going to die. Because if, if you were to anybody else, you'd kill them, right? Okay? Luckily, all the other parts of your brain jump on top of it. Quick, psyche, conscience, anima, quick, hold him down! Let it go! Let it go! The hypothalamus, which is the Greek part of your brain, is going, Get him off him, fuck you! He's smash his fucking face in! <laughs> At this point, your friends with no kids jump in. Right? And that's why they say something looks, I mean, it's, uh, uh, not on business, right? But, I was at Borders the other day in the self-help section and um, <laughs> saw something that you might be able to use. Um, have you thought like setting rules or anything like this? Like maybe um, like getting your kids to help you with the dishes or? <laughs> wow. I, I, it's, it's never crossed my mind. <laughs> Maybe I've asked them like one or three hundred times, but you know, it's just never actually, I've never thought, you know, maybe, I, I think
think I've cried at the sink a couple of times. I think I've faked a heart attack and pretended to drown in the dishwater. And they still wouldn't get off the fucking Simpsons, but no, thank you. Thank you for your advice. Thank you, my childish friend, for your advice. Thank you and your dogs for your advice. Because you know what's coming next, right? You know what? The, the, the usual, oh, I love my dogs. I love my dogs. I do. They're just like children. Get stuck! Unless your two shih tzus are getting shit faced in Rundle Mall right now with their mates. <laughs> They're dogs! <laughs> Unless your Labrador is ringing you up at 2 o'clock in the morning from Croydon Railway Station going, Woohoo! Can you come and pick me up? They jump off the couch, they're so happy to see me! <laughs> this is jumping your head off, guys! Come on, stop licking me! Stop it! Stop it! Come on! They lie on their backs, they have to scratch the little emo tummies. <laughs> and if they stay out all night, I don't have to worry, because I just call the council the next morning. <laughs> do that because I've had the microchip. <laughs> But you have to, you have to, because then you get to the council, all the emos look exactly the same. <laughs> so no, no, my child is free, okay, no. The only thing that your dog and my son have got in common is they both wear a black dog collar, end of story. <laughs> have a good night, take it easy,